Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this What Is Wednesday, we're going to be talking about the front end uh, development build tool that actually powers leveluptutorials.com. And this is a tool that has really been somewhat brand new here and really comes along at an era where we have old tools like Webpack that have really started to feel slower. And then you have new tools like Vite and Snowpack um, and ES Build and things like this that are just lightning quick for various reasons. Now, Vite, as is vitejs.dev, V-I-T-E-J-S.dev. And yes, Vite is how you say it. Uh, they tell you the pronunciation in here, saying it's the French word for fast, pronounced forward slash V-I-T slash, um, which honestly, I don't know how to read <laughs> these uh, these uh, phonetic or whatever the uh, pronunciation guides are. So I, I still had to Google it. We had people telling us it was pronounced vit, vite, vite, whatever. Tons of different pronunciations. It is vite. Um, it's a French word of which I do not speak French. It'd be nice if they had like a little audio bubble here so you could hear it. Um, but whatever. What is vite? Well, vite, just like many other platforms that you've used to do this type of thing, is a platform that allows you to build your code to take it from something that you read and write to something that the browser can understand. Now, whether or not that is uh, utilizing all of the latest and greatest stuff like ES modules or not, uh, or maybe you're using TypeScript, whatever, it is the build tool for your application. And it also is a development server. So what that means really is that one, it takes your code and transforms it into something the browser can read, but it also handles when you're working in local development, it handles refreshing the files based on what's changed. And it does so in an extremely fast way of which we'll talk more about, but it allows you to have a development server. And this development server is running while you work on your website, you make a save, you get these auto refresh updates, these hot module reloading where you can continue to work on things, hit save, and the browser will just update as is. So what is this? Well, it's a development environment and a build tool. What does it replace? It replaces things like parcel, webpack. Um, what are some more of them? ISO build from Meteor. Um, there is also gulp, which would be a replacement. Um, and it follows into the, the same class as something like snowpack, which does a lot of similar things. Now, why is Vite so fast? Um, well, it's fast for a ton of reasons. Um, one of which is that it uses ESM in your development flow. So that way, when you work on a singular file and you make a change to that file, it's actually using module imports to import that singular file, meaning that if you have one TypeScript file that's about 100 lines long, you're only transforming that one file instead of the entire project. You're not minifying things. You're not taking it into a place where uh, you're having to work on a ton of files. You're only compressing the one single file or not even compressing it, uh, compiling it into be something that the browser can read. And then, then that's swapped in via hot module reloading using web sockets. And that allows you to work on things extremely fast. Now, when I say extremely fast, it's one of those things where you need to try it because it is so very, very good. Um, you save something, it updates instantly, it updates faster than possibly you could have in other things like Webpack or any of that. And if you're wondering just how fast, again, give it a try. It is crazy good. Um, for me personally, after trying Snowpack, I could not go back to the old style of doing things. And it was like, these are the only classes of tools that I can use from this point forward because they're just that good. Now, uh, Vite also uses something called ES Build, uh, which I'll do a little quick search for here if I can uh, type. And it's funny, they don't bundle with ES Build, but they do do their, their, their initial compilation on ES Build um, for your local development. Now, why? What is ES Build? It takes files and very, 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 very quickly uh, compiles them to whatever you need to be. And so Vite is going to stand there and serve assets and run your dev server and swap those files out. And ES Build is going to be the thing that really quickly transforms those files as you're working 
in development. But for the most part, you do not need to think about or understand anything about ES Build at all. Now, ES Build is actually a great topic for one of these What is Wednesday videos in its own, but that's that's a whole nother thing and it's a part of its own classification of tools. So Vite is really just the way that you can have a site being worked on and many tools that you know and love, maybe things like Gatsby and Next.js and whatever that have been on Webpack, well, you'll start to see tools start to launch with Vite. For instance, one of those tools is SvelteKit. Uh, for those of you who do not know, I'm a huge, huge fan of SvelteKit. In fact, leveluptutorials.com is built on SvelteKit now, and that is powered by Vite itself. It also does things like CSS, where you can have CSS modules, um, post-CSS, inlining and rebasing. These are tools that I don't necessarily think about too much because of, of SvelteKit. It just kind of happens beyond the scenes. Serving static assets and importing them allows you to import something like an image instead of having to reference its path. That's really, really handy. It allows you to import things like JSON and access the actual data from the fields. Uh, it has really good TypeScript support where you import type, the type name from whatever. There's a lot of really awesome things in here. And the coolest thing though, is that, well, maybe not the coolest thing. I think the coolest thing is probably at speed, but one of the coolest things is the plugin ecosystem because um, typically when we're working with these tools, you say, man, Webpack has so many great plugins. Why would I move anything off of Webpack uh, when there's this huge community of plugins? Well, uh, Vite uses Rollup. In case you uh, um, have ever heard of Rollup, Rollup is also a competitor to Webpack. But behind the scenes, there is some Rollup in here, meaning that we can use Rollup plugins. And that means that if there isn't a plugin written for whatever you are doing in Vite, you can use the Rollup variation of that plugin and it works really well. Also, I should say that writing your own plugin, not hard. We wrote a plugin to transform GraphQL files for our site. It was a dream, very easy. Um, so you have the option of writing your own plugins or you can use rollup based plugins. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here about that. You can also do server side rendering. There's some packages to do server side rendering. To be honest, I found the Vite uh, manual server side rendering setup to be tough but so is server-side rendering in general. I think, um, you know, typically if you're writing an app with server-side rendering, you're probably doing it through a framework like Next.js or SvelteKit anyways. Either way, the tools exist. There's also a Vite SSR package or, or, or um, project that's really neat too, that's aiming to make this a little bit easier as well. But again, all of these things are kind of tough. So what is Vite? Well, at the end of the day, it's a replacement for something like Webpack, Rollup, or Parcel, which makes your development process way, way faster. You can get up and running extremely quickly. You can see they have a, like a fast server start, a fast updates. Um, it bundles for production if you want. It does all sorts of amazing things. So you know what? I would say give Vite a try. Head over to Vite.js, V-I-T-E-J-S.dev. Again, so this isn't sponsored by them or anything, uh, but this is a tool that I use personally. I know it and I love it. So check it out at vitejs.dev, one of my favorite tools on the web today.